To understand the story of rapid jaw revolution, I need to get an MRI scan of my skull. The information is processed to create a model in plastic. I'm more than a little curious to see what my own skull looks like. I've been working with bones for 20 years, but this is a first. I'm quite shocked. Uh, it's so weird to, to look at your own skull whilst, well, whilst you're still alive, I think, really. <laughs> Even though I study bones, you look in a mirror and you don't see all these little lumps or this massive brow ridge I apparently have, or this quite large jutting jaw. taking my skull to Dr. Carolyn Rando, an archaeologist at University College London who's been conducting some fascinating research into how human jaws are adapting to our ever-changing diet. You've got an impressive array of skulls here, Carolyn. What can they tell us about the evolution of our jaws? Well, what we have here is we have a selection of skulls going all the way back from Neanderthal man to Cro-Magnon and then medieval London and post-medieval London here. Mm -hmm. And so while these give us a cross-section of essentially kind of human evolutionary history, my main interest is with these two here. And what I found through my research is the jaws have gotten significantly smaller since the medieval period up into the modern period. We're talking just several hundred years here, aren't we? Absolutely. So the medieval period ends in 1550, and post-medieval, we're talking 17, 1800s, 1900s. When you say the jaws are changing, how? Well, what's happening is that, for one, in this individual, we have what we call an edge-to-edge -edge bite, which means that his front teeth line up perfectly so with each other. So real nice top and bottom together. And what we have here is that his top teeth and his bottom teeth, they don't fit together at all. That's massive, though. Closing mine now. Mine do the same, so is that yeah. typical of modern modern man now? Absolutely. And in this individual here, you can see that they fit together so poorly that I can put an entire finger in between his upper and lower teeth. How would my diet make my jaw become smaller? Throughout human evolution, we've had a very specific type of diet, which is uh, lots of rough, hard foods. We really Tough have to and chew. Fibrous, isn't it? Exactly, yeah. yeah. We really have to chew hard to make our food work for us. Mm -hmm. And all of that work is stimulating our jaws to grow. Mm -hmm. It stimulates our teeth, which stimulate the jaws, and then the whole face responds in kind to these things. And so what happened then is we switched from a very traditional agriculturalist diet to one that was soft and sticky and very sweet and something that's almost identical to what we have now. Processed foods, I guess. Absolutely. Right. We don't have that same type of interaction between the food and the jaws anymore they just tend to become smaller through inactivity. Yeah. 